Hello everybody, I'm Sal, so this must mean you are watching Sal Says What on location at Funny Books Comics and Stuff in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey. Stop by MyFunnyRama.com when you get a minute to find out more information about this fine comic book retailer. Okay, so New Avengers Volume 3, Number 15. This whole series is written by Jonathan Hickman and has been a double-edged sword for me. On one hand, it's cerebral and fascinating. It's full-tilt science fiction, taking the classic elements that make the Cosmic Marvel Universe so expansive and yet engaging, while adding a brand new element or two that feel fresh yet familiar. One caveat I will add is that this new cosmic mythology Hickman infuses lacks any kind of old-school Kirby joy, exchanged for dense Asimovian sci-fi. It could very quickly turn corny, or worse yet, pretentious, and it dances that line pretty regularly throughout the series. However, the title ultimately brings me back every month, so there's got to be something deeper at work going on here. New Avengers Volume 3 surrounds the new incarnation of the Bendis-created Illuminati, using the smartest or strongest elements from each corner of Marvel's Earth, banded together to solve problems behind the scenes. This whole title has been about what are called incursions, in which parallel Earths, and by extension their own universes, threaten to occupy the same space as Marvel 616, or the one that we care about is what that stands for. This could be the plot of any 80s or 90s Marvel comic, chock full of cameos and retcons and cornball fighting. Instead, this explains explores the deeper, darker questions of what it means to be in the Illuminati, and what it means to be heroic through expressively unheroic deeds. In this case, they're destroying whole worlds and civilizations to save their own. Another incredible aspect of this title in general is its ability to have huge, cosmically significant happenings, while at the same time progressing the story mere centimeters down the road. In each issue, civilizations die and worlds collide, yet seemingly nothing actually happens. Steve Epting's pencils during this title's debut did a wonderful job of giving this title the gravatus that it suggests, but with his departure and Simone Bianchi's hand on the baton, it feels more like a what-if title, which is not especially complimentary. Bianchi's loose, sketchy style does little to give the title that sense of weight and oomph, despite its vibrancy. New Avengers number 15 continues the trend of little happening while the main cast sighs heavily under the weight of being world destroyers. We learn a little bit more about the mysterious Black Swan character, but I find myself with little interest in that department. I mean, the last issue itself left on such a, like, totally awesome cliffhanger, and it was a little disappointing to return to the talking heads element of this title. I'm afraid New Avengers continues that trend that Infinity suffered from, which was just building and building and building towards a conclusion that could never quite live up to its own hype. I'm really afraid New Avengers can only end in disappointment, given that 15 issues of building, tension, culminating towards something truly epic and earth-shattering, forgive the pun. I haven't been as dazzled by Hickman's prose, and his story structure is a little too loose for my liking, so I'm wondering if my loyalty to this title will be rewarded. New Avengers is published by Marvel Comics, and you can pick it up at a fine retailer like this one, or on Comixology.com. So my question to you guys today is this. What is your dream Avengers roster? Is it the movie? Is it the Illuminati? Is it one that's been established? Or would you go and create one yourself? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll share mine. Like and subscribe, and stop by LittleHouseOnline.com, and visit FunnyRama.com for more info about funny books, comics, and stuff in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey.